there's any better throwing out the first pitch as uh, JD mentioned a little cutter there to uh, Anthony Rizzo and let's get the headset on here Eddie the biggest cup fans around is uh, with us in the booth the best part of your your first pitch was that you brought your glove to the mound the pitcher's got to have a glove right <laughs> you know his glove was Mark DeRosa's glove that was Mark DeRosa's yeah, glove yeah must have been just laying around <laughs> very nice how are you Eddie I'm doing great. Really nice to see you. Nice to see you back here. I mean, here I see you all the time, but nice to, be here Field. Good nice to meet to you. Be, yeah. yeah. There's a fly ball to left. James Russell now working. Chris Coglin is going to make the catch on the warning track for the out. Take a look at James Russell. James Russell's name has come up recently, and. Uh, Trade rumors, and for good reason. He's pitched well this year, has an ERA of 276 through 40 appearances, and the league hits just 192 against him. He's been really good against right handed hitters this year with that changeup. There's Solarte, and he takes a strike. Saw so you out here the other night, Eddie. You don't just come and sing the stretch, you come to Wrigley Field to hang out. Get the scoop on the team from Theo. I know uh, Coom is your guy over in the radio booth. You've been a Cub fan forever. I could be more excited about what's going to happen here in the very near future. I think yeah, I, I couldn't be more excited. There's the 2 And this ball will be caught. Now you're going to get some help. Who's singing with you tonight? Um. There's a guy, my uncle John. He was the one who took me to my first Cub game, maybe 1970, uh, against the Pirates. Roberto Clemente, the whole thing, and uh, and uh, we're, we're in tribute to him because uh, we, we we lost him recently. Uh, but his kids are here tonight, and it's Josh and Molly Vetter. Great and, to have them here. Yeah, and Josh uh, Josh has been bat boy all night too, so he's he's packing it in. Awesome. Jeff Francoeur pinch hitting. And I think we got 50 people in the bleachers too. Excellent. There's Russell's pitch. And it's low and outside. Great. We were up in Seattle uh, last year, saw some of your bandmates. And since we last spoke, you played here at Wrigley Field. What a night that was, huh? You got Ernie up on stage. <laughs> it went late. It yes, because it rained. Rain, right? It rained. You yeah. said we're going to play. We're going to give the fans a full show. Well, of course we wanted to play, but we definitely had to. Uh, a lot of people had to trust that their the neighborhood wasn't going to be upset with them. And I give Tom Ricketts a lot of credit for that. He had to kind of. Uh, stand up for us and, and trust us as well and then all the crowd and it ended up being incredibly special but I don't know what we would have done if they would have just canceled but you know you don't play a place like this and have a connection to it and and think that it's going to go easy I knew something was going to I just <laughs> knew <laughs> but the way it worked out everybody had a, had a wonderful time and hey it's rock and roll if you got to stay up late you stay up late right yeah, I just hope that I would like to think that the quality of music that was going to emanate was something that maybe people could appreciate. Well, they did. They believe me. Volume. We wish we were here. We're always on the road. And Coor keeps the inning alive. Here's Grandall. So here, here's kind of an off the wall question. Who do you listen to? If I were to check out your phone and it was kind of a guilty pleasure or somebody would say Eddie Vedder listens to that. Is there anything, is there anything that would surprise your well, fans. I've recently been exposed as knowing all the songs on the Frozen soundtrack. Is that right? my daughter. <laughs> and uh, Eddie's going to hang with us here for a couple more minutes. We didn't have enough time to, uh, to chat with you. So I remember I don't know if it was the last and it wasn't the last time you were with us. Maybe one of the first times. Uh, Kerry Wood was coming off the DL <laughs> and uh, he was out warming up in the bullpen and uh, you were so happy you were like a kid in a candy store. I, I think he had been out for like almost a year. Do you oh, remember right, that yeah. day. Yeah. yeah. You were just sitting out here and you were just you sit in the booth you were just staring out at the Cubs bullpen. Yeah. It was exciting. 
How about his last pitch and his son yeah. coming out of the dugout? That was as powerful a moment I've seen him. Struck out Diane Viciato of the White Sox. Mm. And then, uh, you're right, got a standing ovation. Big hug from his son. And then the last time you were here, you wrote out, or you wrote out some lyrics. About Derek Lee or something. Remember that? I still I have that now. tucked away. Yeah. That's <laughs> funny. Oh, and then then you gave me the the color coded. The four, the four colored pen. Yeah, yeah, which helped me do the, the Spectrum the set list. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still doing that. Thank you. Are you really? Yeah, I found that, yeah, you could find them. That's great. The big Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are awesome. Easy to score with. One and two on uh, John Baker. Called strike three. I want to let you answer JD's question. So the Frozen soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> you like all kinds of music, though, right? I mean, that Absolutely. Good song's you know, a good song. Soundgarden's playing tonight with Nine Inch Nails. Uh, I'm guessing they might come to the game tomorrow. But Jack White was here two nights ago. That was a great hang. Um, you know, we were just missing each other on tour, and then. It, to bump into him here was <laughs> this is the best of all time. So, <laughs> and he's going to be throwing out the first pitch in Detroit soon. So, I'll be watching that one. And here's your guy, Jose. Oh, man. Jose, number one. <laughs> hey, Eddie, Eddie, <laughs> Eddie, why don't you call me? Eddie, you don't, you don't call me no more. <laughs> he's my hero still. You know that's uh, Michelle Obama. That's her favorite player. Oh, really. And now think about this. Look at pictures of Barack Obama when he, when she met Barack, and he was, you know, early was on Harvard. Same, had similar hair. Similar hair, similar smile. I didn't know that. So imagine that that Michelle Obama decides that's <laughs> kind of her type, and ends up marrying Barack. the first African American president. <laughs> that's history. Oh, because. He looked like Jose Cardinal. And then I, I, I did a, a uh, fundraiser for um, President Obama in, in Florida before the last election, and it was about an hour away from Jose's house. We got Jose and his wife. I got to introduce him oh, to cool Barack. Yeah. And, You're and the Jose, connector, Eddie. Jose said. Um, sure, it's lifts to the left. Continue. I, I asked, uh, I said, Barack, I said, I said, Barack, this is my good friend Jose Cardinal. He goes, I know Jose Cardinal. Oh, you, you played with some great Cub teams, and oh, you played with Ernie Banks and Billy Williams, and oh, we love you. And and Jose said, well, Mr. President, we we love you too more. We love you better if you if you become co fan. You know, <laughs> you know, no more socks, no more white socks. Right. Yeah, we haven't had the president here at Wrigley. Nice to have him stop by. Here's Bonifacio with two outs. Pitch by Stoffer. Wow. He bailed out. Oh. And a strike Bonifacio call. Bonifacio wasn't ready. Well, always great to see you back here. And a great job on the stretch as always. Yeah, you know, I, I really, you know, we see you guys all the time. It's nice now. You can watch games in Australia. Um, and wherever you Europe. are. Yeah, wherever you are. It's, it's Gotten a lot easier. Two strikes. And have missed outside for a ball. You know, I I think that you know a lot of people will reminisce about like remember back in the old days when we were in the van together and they kind of romanticize like mm -hmm. it was tough times but they almost kind of miss it you know there was a camaraderie and all that. I think the same happens here. You know this team. People are going to reminisce about going through this period. Yeah, it'll mean more certainly yeah. when the process gets to the point where everybody wants it to be. Eddie Vetter, always a pleasure. Lead man. Time. Always. Thanks for stopping Eddie, by. Pleasure, man. Awesome.